On the first day of the week, in the evening, the disciples gathered together in a house. They locked the doors because they were afraid of the Jews. They didn't want to be killed like Jesus had been killed. Some of Jesus' disciples had reported seeing him alive. Was it true? As the disciples talked, Jesus appeared among them and said, Peace to you. The disciples were afraid. They thought they were seeing a ghost. It's me, Jesus said. Look at me and touch me. A ghost does not have flesh and bones, but I do. Jesus showed his disciples his hands and his side. They saw his wounds. The disciples rejoiced because they were so happy to see Jesus. The disciples gave Jesus some fish to eat. Jesus talked to them and explained the Bible to them. The Bible is about me, Jesus said. He helped them understand how the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms told about him. Then Jesus told the disciples that they had a job to do. Jesus had died and was raised from the dead so that people could be forgiven for their sins. The disciples needed to tell other people to repent from their sins and be forgiven. Jesus said, God sent me to earth, and in the same way, I am sending you. One of Jesus' disciples, Thomas, was not with the others when Jesus visited him. He did not believe that Jesus was alive. Thomas said, I want to see and touch the holes in his hands and his side, or I will never believe. A week later, Thomas was with the disciples when Jesus appeared again. Jesus said to Thomas, put your finger here and look at my hands. Reach out and touch my side. Don't be an unbeliever. Believe. Thomas did believe. My Lord and my God, he said. Jesus said, because you have seen me, you have believed. Those who believe in me without seeing me are blessed. For 40 days, Jesus presented himself to more than 500 people and proved that he is alive. Jesus is still alive today. We have not seen Jesus, but if we believe in him, we will be blessed. He sends out believers to tell others about him and gives us power through the Holy Spirit.